Finding a new apartment can be an arduous task on your own, especially when you find yourself swimming in the seedy underbelly of Craigslist, where the scams are more plentiful than affliction shirts in a Pacific Beach bar. <laughs> One of the most common is alleged landlords offering beautiful apartments for too good to be true prices. When you respond, they tell you that they're currently in West Africa on mission work, but are trying to find good, God-fearing tenants. They ask you to wire them money for a security deposit, and you never hear from them again. Normally, I ignore these things like any sane adult would do. But after the third response like this, my prankster spirit kicked in. I'm no superhero, but I can be one hell of a catfish Robin Hood. And as a bartender, I have more free time than Ann Coulter's etiquette coach. <laughs> My target's name? Pastor Brian. He sent me a very lengthy email, littered with reference to God and talking about his time in West Africa, as well as an impressive amount of grammatical errors. Randomly capitalized words, misplaced punctuation, spelling mistakes. I immediately fired off a response. That was a really long email. I'll be honest, I didn't read it. When can I come and have a look inside? The response came back later that day. Sorry you can't be able to meet me in person because by the special grace of God, we are in West Africa, currently in Nigeria, preaching the gospel and winning souls for Christ. So if we approve you, then we can be free to mail out our house keys to you via UPS because that's the fastest way because we do send Bibles and some recreation books to Fresno. So again, the keys to you not be a problem so you can be comfortable to we'll look at the house from inside and move in ASAP. Please understand us. Fresno? I thought this place was in San Diego. Yes, we do send Bibles and recreation books to Fresno via UPS, so getting the keys of my property in San Diego to you via UPS to will not be a problem, only if your application was approved by my family members. Well, I'm not sure when I can get to the Fresno and get the keys, but like I said, I'm definitely interested. We are sorry for replying you now. We are much busy at the parish, and also sorry for misunderstanding me. Please take note, we are not shipping the keys and contract documents of my property to Fresno, well, we could be able to ship to you via UPS with your current address with any address that was given to us by you upon the making of the security deposits to be as soon as possible and send us the rent upon your move in. So I hope you understand us now. So if you're really interested, like you said, kindly feel free to leave us with your application details so we could be free and look at it and contact you because I think it's best we speak over the phone. For more declaration, I've attached more of my pictures for your facial recognition. Jesus loves you. Pictures for your facial recognition. I feel like I'm talking to Hal from 2001. And I only now notice that every single email from him after the first, he's misspelled his own name as Brain. You couldn't be more ironic if you were Alanis Morissette. Now they sure as hell aren't gonna one-up me. If they're sending pictures, I'm sending pictures. But I'm not sending pictures of myself. I need a mid-level celebrity. Someone famous enough to send interesting pictures online, but not quite famous enough to blow the whistle on my charade. There's really only one choice. Adam Levine, lead singer of Room 5. I wrote them, Praise baby Jesus, I am grateful that now you're not making me drive to Fresno. I looked it up on a map, it turns out it's really far. Those pictures are so nice. Are you the white people or the black ones? Not that it matters, just for me to know who is who. So yes, yeah, seeing as now we are becoming acquainted with each other, and so that you too know who your new tenant will be, I've included some pictures of me as well. I am the handsome one who has difficulty shaving. I'll be honest, I was pretty sure Adam Levine was going to be too famous for this to work. Especially paired with my unexplained regression in grammatical ability. But Pastor Brain proved me wrong. Thanks for emailing and God bless you. We just received your pictures now and we are so much okay with you and happy about the way you look because you look so responsible and gentle so I think we'd be able to give you a chance to learn from us and please don't disappoint us. Kindly leave us with your contact numbers. We can call you tomorrow and discuss how to ship the keys of my house and legal contract to your current address via UPS and making of the security deposit is also enable us to secure the shipping charges tomorrow so you could be free to go look at the house inside and move in ASAP and send us the rent upon your move-in so we could be free and face other paramount things here. Please take note that we have other families applying for the house, so try and get back to me ASAP. For your facial recognition, I'm the white one. And I also sent you pictures of me and my wife. Please understand us. This has gone from hassling a scam artist to my favorite pastime. I put more thought into what I can write next than I do my actual job. 
My next email simply read, My phone has been temporarily disconnected. Praise God, I still have my email, which I can use any time. He replied, Thanks for the email, but I think it's best we speak over the phone because renting my house to some I can't see in person is a risk, and we can even talk to you on phone, so we have to be very cautious about this. But I'm a man of God, so and also a firm believer, so I believe that the God I'm serving will not fail me this time. So we're wondering if you have the security deposit ready so we can be free and secure the delivery today via UPS so we can be free and move in. ASAP, send us your rent upon your move in. Please take note that we have many families applying for the house and ready to move in with our money, so try and get back to me as soon as you can. Their level of desperation has given the replies to the appeal of letters a soldier receives from his girlfriend while he's deployed. My friends text me every day to see what the latest is. How far I can raise the level of absurdity on this imaginary prospective tenant without blowing it up. It's like a game of con artist chicken. Thank you so much for your kind understanding. I too am a man of God, and so I know we will be able to be great landlords and tenants together. Since I'm having phone troubles currently, I ask that I'm able to call you Collect so we can discuss this further and get any information that you need. You can most assuredly add the Collect call fees to whatever rent you are charging. As you know that being a man of Zod, I will certainly be happy to pay you back those fees. And once I'm in, praise Allah, we will be able to get a bit of Zod with whatever contract you require. Did I go too far by referencing multiple deities? Loosening my grasp on the rules of grammar? And asking if I can call them collect? No, I did not. But I am testing their patience. All caps reply. So do you have the deposit ready so? So we can secure the shipping chargers today and get the keys and documents today via... Oh, he's mad. I wrote back, I know you said you must speak by phone first, which I'm certainly willing to do, but I do not yet have your phone number, by which I would call you collect. As I said, you can certainly add the collect call fees onto the money I will be giving you. I'm excited to get this process completed, so please send me your number that we may speak about our love of God and also financial matters. <laughs> Praise Jeebus, and thank you for the phone call. His response, thanks for the email, so here's my contact number here in West Africa. 234-703-335-7873. So feel free to contact me today. God bless you. Now, I feel like by giving me his number, he called my bluff. I don't want to actually speak to this person. My emails require time to compose. This is not a game for off-the-cuff replies. Let's try another picture. I am so excited to speak to you about moving into this amazing apartment. Praise God. I will be calling you as soon as I'm able so that we can make final arrangements. I am packing up all my things for the coming move. Books, various cheeses, bong, jugs of kerosene, ninja weapons, things like that. My happiness is beyond believing. I've included a picture of how happy you've made me. I've made a happy face for my breakfast foods. We talk soon. Now, I was ready to call it quits in this game since I found an actual partner who was too busy moving in to continue this farce. But their persistence pushed them on as they wrote me the next day. How are you doing, my dear? Though we were very busy at the parish yesterday, but I think I didn't see any missed calls on my phone from you, but there is no problem with that, so we have finalized to make the delivery today to your current address today so you can be free and move in today and send us your rent today upon your move-in, so feel free to make the security deposit, $400 refundable, to us today so we can be free and face why we are here. Thanks for your understanding. I'm beginning to wonder if they know what understanding means. I wrote back, please forgive me with the heart of Christ. I'm going to my bank shortly to effect the transfer of money, but they say that in order to send you money, I need your bank account info. If you send me your account number, I can have the money sent you immediately. Thank you again, and Gosling bless you for allowing me to move in your I've already vacated my previous residence, so I'm hoping to be able to move in right away so I do not have to spend another night on the streets. Code word, God is good. I don't even know what I meant by that. He replied, thanks for the email, and we are so sorry for replying you now. We are very busy at the parish, although yesterday, so take note, we don't receive check or money transfer direct to my account from San Diego to Nigeria because it will take much time to reflect to my bank account. We are not much comfortable with that, so the easiest way to receive money from our previous tenants is through West Union Money Order. So you can make withdrawal of the deposit from your bank and send it to us through Western Union because that's the fastest way to receive money here on time. Now I decided this has gone on long enough. Time for the Hail Mary. Thank you so much and praise be to our holy underlord. I am 
not having money for the rent to give to you, but I am at the bank ready to send funds so that I can move into this glorious holy apartment you have kindly offered me as a fellow man of God. The money was difficult to come by, and although I regret it greatly, I did have to shoot a man, but I know God will forgive me as he was not a good man. My bank tells me that the fee to transfer money is $40, and when I collected money to send you for rent, I did not have money for this. May I ask you as an act of kindness, can you please wire me $40 so I can pay for the money to send me? I've been living on the streets and desperately need to get this new shelter so I can stop being stabbed. Once I send you the money and move in, I will repay you the $40 of next month's rent. Seat pressed out. That last message was sent from the comfort of my new apartment, and it was a bittersweet moment seeing as I never heard from them again. Goodbye, Pastor Brain, and Godspeed.